Hey everyone, I have seen your comments on my totem bowl propagation video like I know that they're there but I just don't like doing updates if they're if my plant looks the same and there's nothing to report on but oh my goodness there is so much to report on now and it's very exciting. I think it's been um, like seven or eight months since I filmed my video and since I propagated my little lumpy cactus and I'm here to show you if it was successful it was it was successful and the results first of all this is my little like the pretty pop oh, the pretty propagation as you can see it keeps on falling over um, I've been keeping it lightly in the soil so it does stand up when I kind of put it where it belongs and I don't move it from there ever so it's never it doesn't really fall over even if there's wind or something but I've been keeping it outside so you can see it's definitely not heavily rooted um, and I haven't moved it around since I put it outside where I keep it since I was moving this plant to give you guys an update on it it fell over and I noticed there are these cute little roots growing out from the bottom so there's two really long ones and then there's three smaller ones and that is so exciting because it's just been sitting there it hasn't looked like it's grown maybe it has grown a little honestly I can't tell when we do the side-by-side -side comparison hopefully we'll be able to see but I find that to be very exciting that's a win in my book like it rooted it actually grew roots and it took a long long time i don't know when it actually put its roots out i just know that today this is how it looks like seven or eight months later this right here is the propagation that i will the actual propagated part the one that i just laid down because it's an ugly piece no offense of the cactus this is the whole reason why i cut down the cactus it has if you can see this little baby little sprout coming out and I've never picked it up to look well I haven't recently but there's no roots on it but it definitely has a baby sprout growing so I count that as a win and there was a moment where I thought that I had completely killed this because there was a lot of rain it was literally hailing there was so much rain and I forgot that I had kept this outside and I keep it because I wanted it to get direct sunlight so I didn't have it under a roof or anything to block the rain so it got a lot of water and I thought that you couldn't give them any water otherwise they would rot out and to be honest when I found it in the rain it looked like it had rotted out and one of you guys messaged me on Instagram asking for an update on this plant and then that's when I was like oh my gosh, it's outside in the rain right now. So I ran out in the rain and I was like, oh, well, one piece is dead, but hopefully the other two pieces are gonna be okay. But no, this guy went through and maybe the water actually helped him in the end because this is in a completely sealed tub. I wasn't planning on watering it at all and I wasn't planning on water getting into it. Maybe if I left it out there for longer, it would have rotted, but thanks to that one person who messaged messaged me it i saved it because i completely forgot about it in the rain i was filming other rain videos uh but yeah i'm so happy with this when i filmed this video a lot of people were saying i didn't wait long enough for things to callus and it turns out it was okay it was fine i probably should have waited longer maybe the rooting process would have been faster and I wouldn't have been so worried about well this one didn't matter because I was putting it on like laying it down on soil anyways but for the other one that I put in a pot it could have rotted so maybe I should have waited longer but it was all successful so far so we're, we're fine and I don't think I mentioned it but I have never watered this guy either except for the initial watering I gave it it's literally been sitting in like dry soil. I live in Southern California, so it's been really hot. This guy has been getting direct sunlight. So for a fact, this soil is bone dry. The only time I watered it was when I propagated it. It could have also been possibly watered when it was raining and it got some like splash, a little bit of splashes from the rain but that's all, like I never intentionally watered it. So if it got water, it was a minimal amount. So these are really easy care propagations. Just don't forget them in the rain. And now on for the big mama, which is to me the most exciting. Here is the big mama. 
she is actually kind of super ugly she has this like weird fork thing going on for the longest time I don't even think it was until month six where I noticed some new growth coming out I didn't know what to expect the new growth to look like but it was not how it came out like I was like ew what is that it looked I had other cacti blooming at that time so I thought it might have been a flower coming out but then it kept growing and it's clearly some growth from this little cactus um, but it has been growing so quickly I have not looked at this since when I'm gonna show you this picture here I've not looked at it since this picture and as you can see it has grown so much from that and it hasn't been that much time so I feel like this is gonna keep growing a lot this cactus since it's already rooted it's been watered a lot more often than the propagations so this one has been getting its regular care and I love I love it even though it looks so ugly and for a while I was thinking that it wasn't gonna grow at all so I was kind of wondering if I should just completely chop it down and then propagate this stump as well but it has grown so it's been fine <laughs> so there we have it we got all the little updates on these propagations and it has been very successful so if you did follow along in my propagation video then I hope your cactus has successfully propagated and rooted and everything um, and if you were thinking about doing this definitely go ahead because I'm really excited I have three of these cacti now and they are expensive so I essentially got two new free cacti <laughs> even though two of them look a little crazy um, they're still my little baby one that looks perfect um, it actually looks like it could use a water it's very um, wrinkled so maybe I will water it after this video and that's gonna be the first time I water it um, since it has roots I think it'll be fine I'm definitely gonna water it after this video though because it is getting really um wrinkled and that kind of worries me and since it has roots it should be fine it shouldn't rot out I don't think let me know if you tried propagating your totem pole cactus and how it went or if you were thinking about doing it and if you're gonna do it now I would like I said I highly recommend it because it's so easy it just takes a very long time it take I would say like half a year before you start seeing like even tiny tiny results but what were you doing with that half a year anyways like you just gotta leave it. You don't even gotta water it. Just make sure it doesn't get rained on. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!